You're watching Fox 25 News at 10. Thankfully, Fox News stepped in and did help us and brought some attention to this matter. State investigation now confirming what Fox Undercover first reported two months ago. Workplace violence at the state's premier psychiatric hospital is out of control. Investigative reporter Mike Bodet is here with what the Department of Labor Standards is now telling the state-run hospital to do, Mike. Yes, that's right. Today is the deadline that the Department of Labor Standards gave Worcester Recovery Center and Hospital to take corrective action on seven different problem areas. Everything from violence prevention to security and training. And it comes after Fox Undercover obtained disturbing numbers from the state about attacks on nurses and mental health workers. They are not isolated incidents. Fox Undercover documenting almost 200 attacks on employees in just two years at Worcester Recovery Center and Hospital. <laughs> Registered nurse Lori Grover is one of the faces behind the numbers. She was attacked by two patients at once earlier this year. It was the, the worst beating I've ever taken in my life. You know, I, nobody else should have to do that. You know, it's not worth a paycheck. The Massachusetts Nurses Association blames the problems on a lack of staffing and a lack of policies to prevent workplace violence. Now the state's Department of Labor Standards is coming down hard on Worcester Recovery Center and Hospital with a written warning and order to correct. The report notes that in March and April, 74% of work-related injuries which required medical treatment or lost days were caused by aggression of patients against staff. Nobody goes to work to get beat up. But that's what you all worry about. We all go in and any one of us could maybe not go home that night. Registered nurse Val Quidadamo is chairperson of the Mass Nurses Association at Worcester Recovery Center and Hospital. Do you feel validated? Yes, this report acknowledges that yes, in fact, the violence at the hospital was over and above what it should be. That report goes on to point out issue after issue contributing to the problems. The hospital does not have patient medical or behavioral history for all new admissions. The facility design has features that could contribute to agitated violent behavior against staff a lack of security, and the current training strategy is not adequate to prevent employee injury from patient violence. Right now it's talk and no action. We have the report and the report just validated all the things we've been telling them. Now we need to see some action. But the deadline for corrective action is today. The Department of Labor Standards tells us the Department of Mental Health has indicated it will detail the corrective action it's taken in a letter this week and what's still being worked on. We're also told DMH will be asking for an extension for some items. Something has to come out of this before people get killed. And we did reach out to Worcester Recovery Center and Hospital for a comment, but never heard back.